We're at the edgy and elegant Alt for Living showroom in the heart of Soho, where tonight we're going to see the launch of two amazing new collections. First off, Annalise Taft's Living Vintage collection of vintage-inspired textiles and Luke Irwin's range of amazing bespoke rugs. We're going to see some amazing things, we're going to have some cocktails, we're going to have some fun. I'm Jason Oliver Nixon, and you're watching Editor TV. My heart sort of melted when I saw these screens with dust and cobwebs all over them, and I was like, these guys need to be back in production. They're so beautiful and so whimsical. Like this one, I mean, I can totally see this, you know, probably was printed like, you know, California bungalow, 1950s, 60s, or amazing designs out there that are just sort of waiting to be put back into production. Um, Lisa has been a friend of ours for many, many years, over 10 years. So when we finally got to build a home and decorate a house here, that's the first person we went to and she helped us out. Will you all be using any of her new fabric lines in the house, do you think? We have decorated everything, so now I have to find another room. A, th a throw pillow. Uh, we got to find a new home to design. So we I can told her the fabrics are perfect. When I see it, all I want to do is decorate a room around it. So it's perfect. So that's a good testament. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's such a great throwback and a nod to you know what's to come. It's it's nice as a young designer to see you know both the old and the new coming together in a fresh, fun way. I had no idea that she had that in her. It, it's good, but I guess creative people have many different outlets. It was just one that maybe was latent or just one that I didn't know about. They look great, they're very fun, and I can't wait to use them. There's one that looks sort of like snakeskin yeah. that's in blue and white, and it's phenomenal. And actually, one of the first times I was here, I discovered a couple of lines of fabric that we carry in our showroom in LA that were, were here, and I was like, Annalise, I need, I need those, I need those. She was like, go, oh, take them, take them to LA. So, and I think we want her new fabric line too, it would be amazing. So. I use real vintage textile, but they're very small, mostly just a little bit here and there, so it's good to see when she can make, they can make into a big fabric. She collects vintage textiles, huge collector of vintage uh, Japanese kimono stencils, so, and not only just because I consider them works of art in their own right, but they're a huge influence on my work and help me see design and repeat and pattern in a new way. Malcolm was really one of your first clients, one of your first customers to come in. Tell me about that whole experience. He said, what is this? And I said, this is my new fabric collection. And he goes, well, I love this one here. And I said, well, that's fine. We'll call it Cutner. And so it is. And yeah. Yeah. Here you are. Right. You're there. there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's been an amazing evening here at Alt for Living, but we're wrapping it up. I'm Jason Alvernixon, and you're watching Editor TV.